We've been hearing a lot about how important it is to have a multi-stakeholder approach, governments, civil society and the private sector. I have here Elizabeth Rochman from Hewlett Packard. Tell me, why is it important to have the private sector in on the WISIS process? Yeah, actually, we at HP are an IT company. We provide the technology, and uh, I would reflect back to what has been said yesterday at the opening ceremony, both from our partner, you know, Intel, and from our VP HP. We are providing the technology, but what's important uh, is, the, you know, to meet with other stakeholders, ICT ministers, who have a vision of how they could use this technology to actually make a better impact. So how can they? You've been talking about information versus knowledge, the importance of, importance of information management and portability. What are uh, Hewlett Packard's solutions? What sort of effect are they having in the field? So you're right, there is actually a, a trend which I discovered recently from uh, talking with other colleagues from HP that before it was the power of information. And there is as well the complexity because information is exploding, is doubling every, I think, 18 months. So it's a challenge to manage this information. But what is more important as well now is the knowledge becomes really the how do you transform this information into knowledge. And what's become important as well is learning, the ability to learn and to relearn new things and to adapt with all this flow of information. So th that's a shift that we've been seeing. So for that, the supporting technology that uh, we are focusing on in HP is cloud information management and mobility. We see a big shift in mobility. So are you getting an opportunity here to, to hook up with a lot of ministers? And are you finding that that's giving you traction in, in the the, the innovations you're developing at Hewlett-Packard? Actually, yeah, I, I was very impressed about the uh, amount of interest we're getting uh, from the technology we are uh, speaking about in the workshop and we are, we are showcasing in the HP stall. Uh, we designed the uh, field office kit, for example, for UN agencies because they have this need of, in case of emergency situation, they need to bring rapidly routers and servers and start an office, start registering people, refugees, migrants. So we've been developing this you know data center in the backpack that you can take with you in the plane along with you know supporting you know uh, thin clients and tablets etc and, and printers and uh, what we've been seeing as well is from ICT ministers the interest they have to use this as well for you know government needs so not only for UN agencies but also how do I start a classroom you know in remote areas or a government office in remote it could areas be a remote center. It could be a remote telecenter, so we're seeing lots of traction. The th second thing we're showing in terms of mobility is the ePrint kiosk, because there's a lot of you know, proliferation of mobile devices, even you know, in everywhere in the world, in developing countries, in developed countries. But how do you print easily from mobiles? So we've been showing as well this kiosk with the HP ePrint technology, which enables to print wireless just by you know, having downloading an app and being able to see the public print locations nearby and to print you know, the job postings, CVs, anything you want. And as well, you can imagine if you are a shop owner to even print you know, signage for your shop. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. <laughs>